Hopkinton Middle School, and welcome back to HMS Today. I'm your host, James Muzzy, and this is our first episode. First things first, if you were here last year, you may want be wondering why we're having our segment on Tuesday. Well, we've been moved. By airing new episodes on Tuesday, we can give you fresh information for the week rather than trying to get your attention after you're all wore out. And that's not all. We got lots more changes coming, so stay tuned. First up, we've changed our Minute with the Principal to now calling it the Middle School Update. Here's where you will get the news on upcoming stuff. Take it, mis- take it away, Mr. Keller. Welcome to the first episode of HMS Today. Thanks to Mr. Cousins and the HMS TV crew for their efforts to make this weekly newscast. It's hard to believe that we're already 21 days into the school year, as it seems like just yesterday, Mr. Carney, Ms. Kirschenbaum, Ms. Daniel, and our Grade 8 Ignite leaders were welcoming in our Grade 6 students. A lot has happened since the start of the year. Our first courtyard party, back to school nights, our cookout, picture day, auditions for Hamlet, and many clubs have launched their years together. Speaking of clubs, if you aren't yet a member of a club or sport here at HMS, I want to take this moment to highly encourage you to join one. Our extracurriculars are one of the things that make HMS great. Many of our former students come back to us when they are in high school, college, or beyond to share that they discovered their passion while they were in middle school in a club. So if it's helping others that you enjoy or have an interest in, check out Best Buddies, the Gay Straight Alliance, or Community Team. If you enjoy exploring your creative side or wish to improve your creative side, check out the art, drama, HMS TV, Ultimate Fandom, Hop Capella, Jazz, Yearbook, Science, Robotics, and Honors Chorus Clubs. If you like to kick it old school, may I suggest the History Club, Chess, or the Board Game Club. Speaking of old school, Film Series watches classics throughout the school year. Do you have an interest in creating websites or programs? Well, then our Computer Programming Club is definitely for you. For those looking to get up and moving, the golf and running clubs and our many sports may be for you. In addition, we have several other very important offerings. Student Council, Ignite, Live Club, Homework Clubs that take place during the course of the year. Over the next several weeks, HMS TV will be offering us a look inside several of these outstanding clubs. We hope that each of you takes the opportunity to attend one of our several clubs over the course of the year. Thank you, Mr. Keller, and we'll see you next time. Next up, we have Mr. Rockwood returning with his regular Fun Fact Friday. Good morning, and welcome to another edition of... Wait a minute. It's not Friday. It's Tuesday. What am I going to do? Can you help me out? I need you to offer a suggestion to me about a name for our segment. Now, it's Tuesday, so what can we do? Come up with a name, send it to me, either send it to my email or just drop it by my classroom, room 222. But in the meantime, here's a triple treat. Did you know that Benjamin Franklin created Daylight Savings Time? and that Portland, Maine, and Portland, Oregon are the two biggest cities in those respective states. And one last one, Eleanor Roosevelt, First Lady Eleanor Roosevelt. Her maiden name is also Roosevelt. See you next Tuesday. Cool. It's nice to have you back. Now email or hand deliver your suggestions to Mr. Rockwood in room 222 for a new name for Fun Fact Friday. And if you haven't seen enough of Mr. Rockwood, fear not, because he's also mentor of the club that we're featuring in our next segment called Community Club. This club has been in existence for over 15 years. We meet every other Wednesday in Mr. Rockwood's room, which is room 222. What is your mission? To help others. Anyone can join, so it's really just the amount of people that come to the room every day, oh, every Wednesday every other Wednesday. Today we have 13 members. So pretty much to join, you just come to room 222, which is Mr. Rockwood's room, and you sit down, and then, yeah, you don't really have to, like, do anything. I think someone will want to join this club because you get to do really fun things for the school, and you get to plan some, like, events and things that you do in the holidays, like the Giving Tree or the Pennies for Patients. So you get to, like, give back to people and it's just a fun club. We do the MLK Day of Service. We uh, collect things like for Project Just Because and for like 
uh, we made like scarves and stuff to sell so that we could give money to like Greyhound and friends. Oh, and then we um we cleaned up outside. We're gonna try to get involved in more charities than, and we're going to try out Socktober this year. What do you hope that students will take away from this club? That it's good to help others and give back to the community. Stop by their club if you are interested and watch for more club interviews in future shows. Coming up next, we have our always popular segment, Question of the Day. This week, our roving reporters asked, what was the highlight of your summer? Golfing. Sports. I witnessed my first granddaughter being born and my son got married. It was a wonderful summer. Going to the beach in Maine. Playing Pokemon Go. Gotta catch them all. The Cape. Going to Newport. Hanging with my friends. Going to New York. Going to California. The highlight of my summer was coming back to school. Greece. Going to the Cape with my friends. Going to Florida to visit my grandma. Practicing volleyball. <laughs> Being on front row seats on Bizarro with Brooke. The highlight of my summer was when I got my class list and I saw I had so many siblings and Manoli Barris in my math class. Going to the beach in the pond with my daughter. Super fun. Front row seat on Bizarro with Katie Lundy. Training for <laughs> V-Ball. Watching the water bottle flip videos before they were old. Jumping the entire wake on my boat wakeboarding. Going to Italy. I'll probably sleeping. Going to India. Having lacrosse tournaments. Going to Georgia. Eating apples. Cape Cod. I've always liked that segment. And now here's another fun one. Have you seen this? This is a photo of somewhere in the school. Have you seen this? Send us an email telling us where this is and you could win a prize. Email hmstv at hillers.org by Friday and maybe you'll see your name up on the screen. The only thing I'm going to say is we have a lot of nice prizes this year, so don't miss out. Good luck. That's a wrap of this episode. Check us out at online at hcam.tv slash hmstv or send us comments, suggestions, and complaints to our email, hmstv at hillers.org. On behalf of everyone, see you next time with more news. Now get out there and study hard. Thank you.